Christian girl, Maria. Welcome back to the Massey Twins. I'm Tom, he's Bob. It's been a while. So we're here at the Science Center. We're the Massey Twins, by the way. You forgot to mention that. And we're gonna go meet a guy, Ryan, and he has an experiment for us. Let's get going. It could be about disappear, disappearing, and it will make you disappear. He's thinking dirty thoughts. I'm just gonna go in. So, well, we're waiting for Ryan. Yeah. So we haven't been here since the Joy Lab, and since. We met the astronaut, so I'm kind of scared. So this is Ryan from the Science Center, and we're gonna do be doing our experiment with him today. Honestly, I've set this not just for video. I am scared. Honestly, yeah. What is new to the Joy Lab? You just mentioned it. It's probably Great Bear Rainforest. Yes! Yeah. We just had a black bear come in and try to get a salmon from right in front of the camera, but he was too close to the lens. But then he was more interested in the camera, I think, than the fish. And uh, he jiggled it, but yeah. we saved it. The bears were so relaxed around us, they didn't seem to mind the cable dolly at all. It ran so silently that sometimes we got pretty close to the bears before they even noticed it was there. So, Great Bear Rainforest is a brand new IMAX movie that we're showing here at the Science Center. It's like a Canadian made movie and it's all about the Great Bear Rainforest which is on the Pacific Coast, kind of in the Vancouver, Victoria area. And it is home to a very special bear. It's the world's rarest bear. It's called the Spirit Bear. And you can learn all about black bears and spirit bears and grizzly bears as well as wolves and salmon and whole bunch of great, great Canadian wildlife in that film. To get Tom a band-aid. And I, I was excited and I wanted to go inside. And he just pushed me out of the way. Well, Tom, i I pulled back. I see. Could I cover it up? I think Tom came in here. Yeah, you need some gloves and a pair of those safety glasses as well. Hey, by the way, I'm trying to kill Bob. Or blow him up. That's what I don't wish. My life would end. No, you just need to hurt. That'd be fine. Hurt so why don't you go here? Because I actually want you guys to do this. Oh no. We're going to learn some chemistry. And we'll learn some hey, cool chemistry him. terms. Uh, but we're going to do it and we'll be super safe. So. Let's look at what we've got here. First, I'm not gonna tell you what's gonna happen with what we're doing, but we are going to create an exothermic reaction. Do you know what that means? Nope, I think not, I know. What do you think it means? 
Exo, that's right, outward, thermic related to heat. So an exothermic reaction is a, a reaction that creates heat. So uh, a we fire, we're gonna start a fire. Well, maybe, but a, a fire is an exothermic reaction, but we'll see what happens here. Mom, can we just begin? So here's what we've got. This container fire. is full of potassium iodide. Oh, I thought it was this. Do you know what this kind of container is called? Um, that's water. But this is water, yeah. What do you, it's a milliliter? This is a beaker. Beaker. This and is a large beaker. This is also a beaker. This has hydrogen peroxide in it. And this is also a beaker. This has dish soap in it. Uh, okay, you just, this? Said, What's this you called? just said some important uh, stuff. And then you just said, uh, oh yeah, this has dish soap in it. Yeah, that is a container. It. It is. Okay. This is my favorite chemistry container. It's I called like a it. Berlin-Meyer flask. Doesn't it look like oh, something you see in a, beaker, in a mad scientist laboratory? And these yeah. are all chemicals. It Except is all for chemicals. that, that's just water. I can well, talk. water is a chemical too. Water is H2O, two parts of hydrogen You're and one wrong. part of oxygen. Actually, well, you drink chemicals every day then. You do. You're made up of chemicals, technically. Uh huh. All right, so I'm going to mix up a couple little solutions here. I can't drink to tell them. Now, could you pass me the blue liquid? I'm and the blue liquid is dish, dish soap, and you can actually pour it right in here. What about me? What if you can't? I can't. I need to use dish soap going in, no longer drinkable. No longer drinkable, that's right. That's probably good enough. I'm just going to do a little stir here. Ooh, I have this. All right, and then. I'm going to take a little bit of this food coloring and I'm just going to pour it down the edge here. Do you know why we're doing this? Nope. It's because we're making something that's going to look like toothpaste. Even though you can't eat it, we want it to kind of look like toothpaste. Hey, stop. And you know how some toothpaste has those stripes along the side? Yep. So we're going to try and recreate those stripes. Yeah. This blue looks like the color of my toothpaste. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go ahead and take that hydrogen peroxide very carefully, and I want you to pour it in the bottom there. All the way down. Toothpaste! Right. Perfect. And then I'd like you to take this container, and you guys are gonna wanna back up. This is gonna happen really fast. Pour it all the way in there, and let's see what's gonna happen. Back up, back Not up! Not much right now. Something's starting to happen. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. Are we creating a little foam? Yeah. Don't put your hands in there. Happen. Don't be stupid. I know what's gonna happen. Foam snakes. Whoa! Look at that foam snake. We call that elephant toothpaste, <laughs> and it's gonna keep coming up. Now, what you want it, you don't want to do is touch it. Ooh, Can why? you see all of the steam coming off of it right now? That's smoke and it's, fire. Well, it's steam. It's super, super hot. So what's happening is there's a chemical reaction going. It's a volcano. And it's releasing the oxygen from the hydrogen peroxide. That was cool. And that's what all the bubbles are. And the soap is provides a chance for the bubbles to, a medium for the it bubbles to form good. in. Does it smell so good? So if I throw this inside, it would burn down. Uh, it wouldn't burn down, but it's super hot. So. Come on, touch it. Just kidding. <laughs> no, don't touch it. <laughs> this looks so cool. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see the toothpaste kind of looking. Oh, that looks there. so cool. Yeah. It's like cute toothpaste. It's kind of like pink toothpaste, yeah. I need to take a picture of this after. Absolutely, you guys can take all the pictures that you like. Will this dissolve? No. What'll happen is uh, we'll just wait for the chemical reaction to happen. We'll cool it off, and then we'll, you can see, we've got a little garbage bag over this tray. It'll all just go outside and get disposed of properly. What about this? We'll clean it up. <laughs> yeah. So, what are you close by? Yeah, I'm going to. Oh my gosh, I can see the rainbow. Or it's just me going crazy. Yeah, you're right. I can see some of the different colors showing up there. It's yellow and orange and pink and blue and t and purple and tom and tom and tom. Uh, I've gone crazy. Yeah, let me just put this stuff down. So what do you guys think? Do you have any questions about that? I, I think Tom shouldn't touch it. That's what I think. Yeah, don't touch it. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Well, never. No? Thanks for doing this with us, Ryan. And next time, can we actually tactically blow up Bob? Mm, I'll have to check with your dad on that. Uh, Tom! And don't try this at home. Bob, it's I don't want Just don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. Bye! Oh, and thank you.
You're very welcome. Thank you for coming. Like you should try this. And hit the little bell. Yeah. Special thanks to Ryan for doing this video with us. The close for winter hours are Mondays, except for holiday Mondays. Yeah, and well, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, and we didn't blow the bell.